Carolyn Warlap. Back in the other way. Great pass. They score. Oh, oh yeah. Philip the Canadian Blair Women's Hockey League All Star Game takes place outbreak. this Saturday at the ACC. And today we're joined by Olympic gold medalists Natalie Spooner and Laura Fortino. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and their beautiful hair. <laughs> you look fabulous, <laughs> ladies. Let's Thank talk you. about what is going to be happening this weekend. You were there last year. I was. It's it's so much fun. So much fun. Yeah, I mean, for us, like, as players, getting to play with the best in the league, um, it's so exciting for us. But also for the fans, it makes for such a good game getting to see the I mean, the best in Canada and the U.S. And only 10 bucks a ticket, like the best going thing in town. Now, you are co-captain. How did that happen? Yeah, so there was a fan vote, and I got voted tied for second. So uh, myself and Megan Mickelson are co-captains for Team Blue, so hopefully I get a win this year. Now, there's, there's a draft, right? So this is it's not like East versus West, which is what we see sometimes in the NHL. You guys actually have to draft each other. How does that, that work, and how do we not offend anybody, yeah. right? Because somebody's got to be picked last, right? Yeah. Well, I think that the captains, they pick their starting lineups, the first five, and then from there we have mini sticks with everyone's names on them, and they just pick one by one. So okay. so much more fair. It's yeah. a random draw. It's awful when you see the last two standing. Nobody wants to be that, never mind, in the last picked. How are you not bitter for the rest of the game, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that happens Friday. What time? Um, that's Friday night. That's, uh, I think, 8, 7? Yeah, between 7, seven and 8, yeah. And then how does it all play out on Saturday? What's the vibe like? I mean, are tensions running high? Is there a lot of pressure? Um, I mean, I think, like, we're also competitive, so we definitely want to win, but it's also such a fun game and just really cool to be around all the girls from all the different teams because um, we don't really get to hang out that much during the season because we're all on the road with our separate teams. I got to say, being there last year, what was so cool is, A, it's an all-star game where people try because uh, that never happens. You never see that in, in baseball and hockey and in the NBA. Uh, the other thing is, you know, because it's 10 bucks, what you see in the stands are entire hockey teams in their gear watching you guys and that has to be for for you a, a huge deal because growing up I don't know that you guys had the same sort of people to, to look model. up to yeah it wasn't I mean you could see it at the Olympics and that sort of thing but where else could you get it no for sure I think that's something we kind of pride ourselves on is giving back to the community and being those role models now and I think being at the all-star game that's a huge opportunity for us we're on the biggest stage with the best players you know in the league and in the world and there's tons of Olympians national players and we love looking up in the stands and seeing the little girls because we did, like you said we didn't really have that opportunity we didn't have an all-star game to go to to watch the best women in the world so these girls have such a great opportunity to come watch us and we love that do you see it progressing even within the you know the short years you you're both very young that you've been playing let's say even 15 years ago it's very much changed now right the profile of women in sports oh for sure I mean I think like just looking at women's hockey and how long I've been playing and the level of play of the players is getting so much better. Um, just the fan base, getting so many more people to our games. Um, some of our games are on TV. Our game this Saturday is on TV on Sportsnet at 3 or 3.30. So, I mean, that's so exciting for us that you would have never seen that before. So, um, yeah, it's definitely growing, and I think it's growing so fast. And a lot of people are finding out about the CWHL, right? And it's and such a huge thing that this is that this is a growing league and and can we talk a little bit about the CWHL and what you guys have because you guys have been a part of it for a while now both of you uh, talk about the growth of the CWHL and how it's so important yeah I think the league has grown immensely and I think in general too you know I think we're more than just hockey players and that's what the league shows is that you know we're people off the ice and I think if you look throughout the year all the initiatives that we're part of like this past weekend you know the Montreal Canadians they did the, uh, the for breast cancer you know they raised so much money doing that weekend before we did you can play and it's just tons of that like it just shows more that you know we're more than just hockey players and like I said like Spooner was saying the league has grown so much and the talent within the league is absolutely unbelievable and it's not just the national players that bring that talent it's the girls that are not on the national team that have full-time jobs that still come to the rink that are dedicated that they show up to every practice you know they're the first ones they're working just as hard as us and I you know I just I look at them and that's just absolutely unbelievable and they make me wanting to come to the rink and you know they make me smile and they make it just that much more fun for me to come to the rink and uh, all the girls out there especially on Brampton they're unbelievable and I take uh, I thank them so much for everything that they put in for our team. So beautifully said. Beautiful so much said. passion on and off the ice. Thank you for representing us so well. And check it out, everybody, this weekend for all the information, breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you so much for being here. Wonderful. Over to you, Kev.